Okay, so it's early in the morning, and Bunny still has not defecated, right? So we're giving him full body massage, right? With special attention being paid to his bowel area. And his belly is very soft, and it doesn't feel distended at all. So I think it's just, you know... It hasn't reached the point where he's uncomfortably constipated, but I'd like to see him have a bowel movement today. It's very important the cat doesn't get blocked, especially if they're having some form of paralysis. So if those muscles in the back are, are weak and he can't push to make poopy, we have to help him. And this is how you help kittens make poopy. And now we're back to treating him like a, a kitten and encouraging his body to move okay so i'm just demonstrating this because you know this is valuable information if you have an, an issue like this with an animal chris is also in the kitchen getting him a little dish of pumpkin puree organic canned pumpkin mm -hmm. which is a digestive remedy for both constipation and diarrhea in cats and dogs you should not overuse it. We're starting Bunny on a teaspoon twice a day. So I'm hoping that he will just eat it raw, the way the dogs used to like it, like just the puree straight from the can. The dogs love that. Hmm. But uh, I've never fed a cat to feed a cat pumpkin. So um, if he does not just lick it from the plate, I am going to have to hand feed him, but it's only a teaspoon. So I'm confident that we'll get it down. He's really enjoying that massage. It's really helping his belly. Yeah. Yeah. He had a little bit of a sad night because did he, did he eat any of that? He did. No, he didn't eat the laxative off his foot. I'll, I'll take that off his foot now because he just, it's not laxative. It's hairball medicine, but that didn't go over so well. Mm. So we, we will clean off his foot now and then he will stop being mad at me. John. Yes. So what were you saying about the Sopranos? The, we watched the last episode last night after our video. Mm. We had an interesting pillow talk last night and it, it was helpful, uh, you know, because Bunny was, I worry, he's my baby. You don't want them to suffer in any way. Oh, Chris is here with the pumpkin. Hold on. Okay, he is eating the pumpkin. Mm -hmm. We'll give him just a little. We're not going to force feed him a lot, but we put it, we'll put a little on his mouth. Also, I'm going to clean his mouth where we had that other. You don't have to clean it. Well, we had that medicine, that lax, laxa coat. Laxa coat is hairball remedy, but it's got a little bit of a you know, a bowel movement effect to it. It has to, because it's hairball remedy. But let me just clean his mouth. He does not like being all dirty like that. Mm. Good boy. Good boy. He likes the pampering. The pampering is, is one thing. Mm. He likes the massage. And again, those feet are moving. There's resistance. Let's let's take a look at the how they're how they're operating these feet. I he's pushing against my hand. This is the oddest thing that's happening to him. So as you can see, I'm doing a little bit of pumpkin at a time. Come on. He's like, no, I'm not gonna eat it. And we just have to do a little at a time until he eats the equivalent of a teaspoon. Because also a, a diet high in protein can constipate them too. If there's too much protein and not enough other stuff. See, he's not finding it objectionable. He is eating it. Mm. Easy, honey. And whatever's left, just wipe it on his feet. Wipe it on his feet. 
and hope for the best. There you go. Ice Thanks, but Chris. Yogurt was in there also. Oh, that yeah, I want to finish that. All right, and so thank you so much, Chris, and um, Dr. Christopher. Uh, so we're gonna. I don't want to overload him with this pumpkin. We're just gonna give him a little bit more, and then we're gonna close it up and put it in the cooler, and then try him with some later. But we had some luck. We got about a half a teaspoon down so far. So let's see if we can do so a little more. You know, and I have telekinesis, uh, telepathy with uh, with cats and, and dogs. And he's uh, he just ate some more of his uh, pumpkin. But he's very clearly saying, more massage, more massage. And I think uh, that Christopher can take him into the bathroom pretty soon. It seems like maybe he might, this might have helped him to, uh, the massage has helped him to feel like he has to go. Christopher, I think he needs to go try the bathroom again. Which is what the stimulation is for. Mm. But if he has a springs a leak, he's got the wee-wee pad here. But yeah. Okay, progress report. So Bunny has just successfully urinated, mm -hmm. which is good. So now he's back to, you know, his little dish of food and whatever, his shell-shocked look. He'll, he'll snap out of it, but it's, it's you know, every morning, I, I know that look. It's like this again. Oh, it's still like this. Yeah. I still can't do what I used to be able to do. It's still like this. I woke up. I was dreaming. I, I was running and playing, whatever. But this is what it is. Mm. But he cheers up considerably after he has some breakfast and he goes out uh, to the uh, living room. Right now, I'm not going to offer him any other options than the food we gave him last night. Because... Uh, I'm not going to force him to eat if he's not really hungry. And I'm also not going to give him a lot of protein today. He's going to have to eat all cat food. None of his special tuna and salmon treats. I want to keep him those bowels limber. And so we're just going to fortify him with pumpkin today. And he'll just have to, you know, make sure he drinks lots of water. Mm -hmm. And if he doesn't drink a lot of water, I'm going to have to put some in, put some in a syringe. But he's been acting like he doesn't want to drink water on his own. Well, actually, I don't think it's a bad idea. A little bit of, with, again, get the turkey breast with water, I think, is, is good. So if we can do that. All right, we'll do that. Hi, honey. What's the matter? Look at that face. That's that's the look that I feel like he's saying, Mommy, why is this happening? Well, he, he kind of is because you're like the miracle worker in the family and Mommy does everything and for us and why isn't she doing this, right? Why isn't she making me better? I know. It, it, you know, that's, that's the... It's a natural... It's, an, it's a natural inclination. Mommy, save me, right? But that's why he loved the massage this morning, and he feels all the love going into you, you know, from your hands into his body. And he loves the sound of your voice, and the bunny, 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 the sound of his name. Hey, sweetheart. You'll have a nice day today, I promise. Mm. Hey. And right now the we got some rolling thunder outside and uh, time to move into the day. Time to move into the day. Time check? Uh, I couldn't even begin to imagine. Eight eleven. Well, it was almost. It was. It was eight ten when I asked you. Oh, it just changed now. Yes. So it was a number nine, right? Praise be God and Mother. Please please help us to have joy in everything we do today and to bless us with positivity and activity and uh, healing powers and flush all the bad stuff away. Flush all the bad stuff away. Mm. Bunny. 
Yeah, that's what I'm talking about.